Hey guys, Matt Science here, and today I am playing Doki Doki Literature, Literature Club. I am never going to be able to say that word correct, aren't I? Uh, so today I'm playing Doki Doki. Uh, before I start playing though, I should say, obviously I know the storyline and stuff like that. Um, I, I know there's like stuff in the properties folder, like the the game files to look at, but I don't have a second laptop or OBS to, sh to show it off to you guys. So, I'm literally... I, I just want to say that I know all that stuff would happen, is going to happen in the game. Let's start a new game. <laughs> hey! <laughs> I see an annoying girl running toward me from the distance, waving her arms in the air like she's totally oblivious to any attention she might draw to herself. That girl is Sayori. Man, they've been good friends since we were children. You know, the kind of friend you never see yourself making today, but it's just kind of, just kind of works out because you've known each other for so long. We used to walk to school together on days like this, but studying around high school, she would sleep more and more frequently, and I would get tired of waiting up. But if she's going to chase after me like this, I, I almost feel better off running away. However, uh, I just sigh and I'll in front of the crosswalk and let Sayori catch up to me. <laughs> oh, I'm not gonna bother trying to do voices because I can't do voices. <sighs> I overslept again. But I caught you this time. Maybe, but that's only because I decided to stop and wait for you. Oh yeah, as you can see, my name is Jack. Much like my real self. <laughs> eh? You say that like you're thinking about ignoring me. That's mean, Jack. Well, if people stare at you for acting weird, then I don't want them to think we're a couple or something. Fine, fine. But you did wait for me after all. I guess you don't have it in you to be mean, even if you want to. Whatever you say, Sayori. Shut up, Sayori. <laughs> we cross the street together and make our way to school. As we draw near, the streets become increasingly speckled with other students making their daily commute. By the way, Jack, have you decided on the club to join yet? A club? I told you Ray, I'm not interested in joining any clubs. I haven't been looking either. Eh? That's not true. You told me you would join a club this year. Did I? Hmm. I'm sure it's possible that I did in one of our many conversations where I dismiss dis dismissively go along with whatever she's going on about. They already like to worry a little too much about me when I'm perfectly content on getting by on the average while spending my free time on games and anime. Uh huh. I was talking about how I'm worried that you won't learn how to socialize or have any skills before no college. Your happiness is really important to me, you know. And I know you're happy now, but I'll die at the thought of you of becoming a neat in a few years because you're not used to the real world. Um, quick question. What's a neat? I might have to look I might look that up later because I don't think anyone really watches these videos anyway. You trust me, right? Don't make me keep worrying about you. Alright, alright. Oh look at a few clubs if it makes you happy. <laughs> no promises, though. Will you at least promise me you'll try a little? Yeah, I guess I'll promise you that. Uh. Yay! <laughs> Why do I let myself get lectured by such a great, a carefree girl? I think it's a graceful. That is not Sayori at all. Uh. One that I'm surprised I even let myself relent to her. 
I guess seeing her worry so much about me makes me want to ease her mind at least a little bit. Even if she does exaggerate everything inside of her head. Hmm. The school day is as ordinary as ever, and it's over before I know it. After I pack up my things, I stare blankly at the wall, looking for an ounce of motivation. Clubs. Sayori so wants me to check out some clubs. I guess I have no choice but to start with the anime club. Hello! Sayori? Sorry, you must have come into the classroom while I was spacing out. <laughs> I look around and realize I'm the only one left in the classroom. I thought I'd catch you coming out of the classroom, but I just saw you sitting here and spacing out, so I came in. Honestly, you're worse than me sometimes. I'm impressed. You don't need to wait up for me if you're going to make if I'm if it's going to make you late to your own club. Well, I thought you might need some encouragement, so I thought, you know, no what? Hmm. Well, that you could come to my club. Sorry. Yeah. There's no way I'm going to your club. <laughs> eh, meanie. <laughs> Sayori is vice president of the Literature Club. <laughs> Lit literature Club. Yeah. Not that I was ever aware that she had any interest in li literature. L literature. Nah. In fact, I'm 99% sure she only did it because she thought it would be fun to help start a new club. Since she was the first one to show interest after the one who proposed the club, she inherited the title of Vice President. That said, my interest in l literature is guaranteed to be even less. Yeah, I'm going to the anime club. Bye! <laughs> Come on! Please! Why do you care so much anyway? Well... I kind of told the club yesterday I'd be bring, I would bring in a new member. And that Suki made cupcakes and everything. <laughs> Don't make promises you can't keep! I can't tell if Sayori is that much of an airhead. Or if she's so cunning to, as to have planned all of this out. I let her a long sigh. <sighs> Fine! I'll stop by for a cupcake. Okay. Jeez. Yes, let's go! <laughs> oh. And thus. Today marks the day I sold my soul for a cupcake. <laughs> bye bye, soul. Hello, cupcake. <laughs> I dejectedly follow Sayori around the school and upstairs, a section of the school I rarely visit, being gen generally used for third year class classes and activities. Sayori, full of energy, swings open the classroom door. Everyone, the new member is here! I told you, don't call me a new member. Eh? I glance around the room. Welcome to the lit Literature Club. It's a pleasure to meet you. Say Sayori always says nice things about you. Seriously? You bored a boy. Way to kill the atmosphere. Ah, Jack, what a nice surprise. Welcome to the club! All words escape me at this moment. This club is full of incredibly cute girls!
And that's sicky. Hmm. The girl with the sad attitude, whose name is apparently Natsuki, is the one I don't recognize. The small figure makes me think she's possibly a first year. She's also the one who made the cupcakes, according to Sayori. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. Ah, <laughs> uh, Sayori says that quietly into my ear, and turns back towards the other girls. You can just ignore her when she gets moody. <laughs> anyway, this is Natsuki, always full of energy. And this is Yuri, the smartest in the club. <laughs> Don't say things like that. Yuri, who appears comparatively more mature and timid, appears to have a hard time keeping up with people like Sayori and Natsuki. Ah, uh, well. It's nice to meet both of you. And it sounds like you already know Monica, is that right? That's right. It's great to see you again, Jack. <laughs> Monica smiles sweetly. <laughs> we do know each other. Well, we rarely talked, but we were in the same class last year. Monica was probably the most popular girl in class. Smart, beautiful, athletic. Oh, so, sorry, I'm. <laughs> Get your head out of the gun. <laughs> oh, jeez. Basically, completely out of my league. So, having a smile at me so genuinely feels a little. You too, Monica. Come sit down, Jack. We made room for you at the table, so you can sit next to me or Monica. <laughs> I'll get the cupcakes. Hey, I made them. I'll get them. Sorry, I got a little too excited. <laughs> then, how about I make some tea as well? <clears throat> the girls have arranged a few desks to form a table. Can't really see it in this picture, though. <laughs> As Sayori mentioned, it's been wide so that there's one space next to Monica and one space next to Sayori. Natsuki and Yuri walk over to the corner of the room when Natsuki grabs a wrap tray and Yuri opens the closet. Still feeling awkward, they take a seat next to Sayori. You, bet you pass up the chance to sit next to Monica? Dude, that's like your number one goal in life. If you like. If you like those things, better. Natsuki proudly marches back to the table, tray in hand. Okay, are you ready? Ta-da! Ah! <laughs> I, I, I can't take it seriously when it makes sounds like that. Natsuki lifts the foil off the tray to reveal a dozen white fluffy cupcakes decorated to look like little cats. The whiskers are drawn on are drawn with icing and little pieces of chocolate are used to make the ears. So cute. I had no idea you were so good at baking, Natsuki. <laughs> well, you know. Just hurry and take one. Sorry, grabs one first, then Monica. I follow. It's delicious. <laughs> so he talks with a mouthful and has already managed to get icing on her face. I turn the cupcake around my fingers. Look for the best angle. Take a bite. Hmm. Yeah? Uh, nah. Go from the back? Nah. Uh. Hmm. Natsuki is quiet. I can't help but notice her sneaking glances in my direction. She, is she waiting for me to take a bite? It, it's a good gun there, I don't want to ruin it! <laughs> I finally bite down. Mm. Your icing is sweet and full of flavour. I wonder if she made it herself. This was really good. Thank you, Natsuki. <laughs> Why are you thanking me? 
It's not like I... Haven't I heard this song? Oh! Haven't I heard this song before? What? That's a bit odd. Made them for you or anything. Eh? I thought you technically did. So you already said... Well, maybe. <laughs> but not for you. You know. You, dummy. <laughs> alright, alright. I give up on Natsuki's weird logic and dismiss the conversation. It's actually a very simple logic. She made them for you, but not because she likes you. That's the logic she was working on there. Yuri returns to the table, carrying a tea set. She carefully places a teacup in front of each of us before setting down the teapot next to the cupcake tray. You keep a whole tea set in this classroom? Don't worry, the teachers gave us permission. After all, doesn't a hot cup of tea help you enjoy the book? Ah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Don't let yourself get intimidated. Yuri's just trying to impress you. Eh? That's not... Insulted, Yuri looks away. I meant that, you know. I believe you. Well, tea and reading might not be a pastime for me. But I at least enjoy tea. Hey, we got a common character trait there. I'm glad. Yuri faintly smiles to herself in relief. Monica raises an eyebrow and smiles at me. So what made you consider the literature club? Um, I was afraid of this question. Something tells me I shouldn't tell Monica that I was practically jagged here by Sayori. Well, I haven't joined any clubs yet, and Sayori seemed really happy here, so that's okay, don't be embarrassed. We'll make sure you feel right at home, okay? As president of the Literature Club, it's my duty to make make the club fun and exciting for everyone. Monica, I'm surprised. How come you decided to start your own club? You could probably be a board member for any of the major clubs. Weren't you a leader of the debate club last year? <laughs> well, you know. To be honest, I can't stand all the politics around the major clubs. There's like nothing but arguing about the budget, and pub publicity, and how to prepare, prepare for events. I'd much rather take something I personally enjoy and make something special out of it. And if it encourages others to get into lit literature, then I'm fulfilling that dream. Marco really is a great leader. Yuri also nods in agreement. Then I'm surprised there aren't more people in the club yet. It must be hard to start a new club. You could put it that way. Not many people are very interested in putting out all the effort to start something brand new. Especially when it's something that doesn't grab your attention, like literature. You have to work hard to convince people that you're both fun and worthwhile. But it makes school events, like the festival, that much more important. I'm confident that we, that we can really grow this club before we graduate. Right everyone? Yeah! We'll do our best. You know it. Everyone enthusiastically agrees. Such different girls, all interested in the same goal. Monica must have worked must have worked really hard just to find these three. Maybe that's why they were all so delighted by the idea of a new member joining. Though I still haven't still don't really know if I can keep up with their level of enthusiasm about literature. <laughs> Word, words, words fail me. <laughs> Enthusiasm about literature. 
So, Jack, what type of things do you like to read? Well, uh... Um, considering how little I've read these past few years, I really don't have a good way of answering that. Uh, manga? <laughs> manga? <laughs> Am I quietly to myself, half joking? Natsuki's head suddenly perks up. It looks like she wants to say something, but she keeps quiet. Not much of a reader, I guess. Well, that can change. What am I saying? I spoke without thinking after seeing Yuri's sad smile. Anyway, what about you, Yuri? Well, let's see. Yuri traces the rim of her teacup with her finger. My favourites are usually novels that build deep and complex fantasy worlds. The level of creativity and craftsmanship behind them is amazing to me. And telling a good story in such a foreign world is equally impressive. Yuri goes on, truly passionate about her reading. She seems so reserved and timid until the moment I walked in, and it, but it's obvious by the way her eyes light up that she finds her comfort in the world of books, not people. But you know, I like a lot of things. Stories with deep psychological elements usually immerse me as well. Well then, you probably like Doki Doki. <laughs> uh, I, uh, there's a lot of horror games out there that go into the psychological stuff. Uh, there was one game I played called Lin that you might like. It's a visual novel game. But it took me like two hours and 45 minutes to complete. <laughs> Isn't it amazing how a writer can so deliberately take advantage of your own lack of imagination to completely throw you for a loop? Wow. Um, so, by what I remember of Lin, it, the ending was probably the most confusing thing I've seen in a game. Anyway, I've been reading a lot of horror lately. Ah, I read a horror book once. I don't read horror books, I watch horror movies. Although, I haven't watched a horror movie in ages. Which is just disappointing. I love horror. I desperately, I desperately grasp something I can relate to at the minimal level. At this rate, Yuri might as well be having a conversation with a rock. Hey, don't sell yourself short, mate. I shouldn't sell myself short because, well, well, I don't read that often. I've got like two books. That are literally right behind this laptop. That I'm like, haven't read, like, I've half read one and I haven't even started the other one. Which is just terrible. Really? I wouldn't have expected that, Yuri. For someone as gentle as you. I guess you could say that. But if a story makes me think, or takes me to another world, then I really can't put it down. So real horror is often very successful at changing the way you look at the world, if only for a brief moment. Ugh, I hate horror. Sorry, that's a key. <laughs> Yuri's my girl. <laughs> oh, what's that? Well, I just... Natsuki's eyes died over to me for a split second. Never mind. You okay, Datsuki? That's right, you usually write, like to write about cute things, don't you, Natsuki? What? What gives you that idea? You left a piece of scrap paper behind the last club meeting. Looks like you're working on a poem called... Don't say it out loud! Jeez, Monica. And give that back! Fine, fine. <laughs> your cupcakes, your poems. 
Everything you do is just as cute as you are. <laughs> Sarah so, uh, was up behind that so again, puts her hands on her shoulders. I'm not cute! Natsuki, you write your own poems? Eh, well, I guess sometimes. Why do you even care? I think that's impressive. Why don't you share them sometime? N no. How dare you suggest that? Are you dumb? <laughs> Nazuki averts her eyes. You wouldn't like them. Ah, not a very confident writer there. Not yet. There. I understand how Natsuki feels. Sharing that level of writing takes more than just confidence. The truest form of writing is writing to oneself. You must be willing to open up to your readers, exposing your vulnerabilities and showing even the deeper, deepest reaches of your heart. Do you have writing experience too, Yuri? Maybe you share some of your work, you can, you can set an example and help Natsuki feel comfortable enough to share hers. <laughs> uh, yeah? I guess it's the same for Yuri. Ah. Ah. I wanted to read everyone's poems. We all sit in silence for a moment. Okay. I have an idea, everyone. Hmm? Natsuki and Yuri look quizzically at Monica. Let's all go home and write a poem of our own. The next time we meet, we'll sh all share them with each other. That way, everyone is even. Um. Mm. Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> Plus, now we have a new member. I think it will help, help us all get a little more comfortable with each other and strengthen the bond of the club. <laughs> Isn't that right, Jack? Monica smiles warmly at me once again. Hold on! There's still one problem. Eh? What's that? Now that we're back to the original topic of me joining the club, I bluntly come forth with what's been on my mind the entire time. I never said I would join this club. Sayori may have stopped it to convince me to stop by, but I never made any decision. I still have other clubs to look at, and uh, I lose my train of thought. All four girls stare back at me with depleted eyes. But I'm, I'm sorry, I thought. Hmm. Jack. You're... I'm defenseless against these girls. How am I supposed to make a clear-headed decision when it's like this? That is, if Ryan Palms is the price I need to pay in order to spend every day with these beautiful girls. Right. Okay, I've decided then. I'll join the lit literature club. One by one, the girls' eyes light up. Yes! Yes! I'm so happy! So he wraps her arms around me, jumping up and down. Hey! 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 You really did scare me for a moment. If you really just came for the cupcakes, I would be super pissed. Then that makes it official. Welcome to the lit literature club. Ah, okay. Uh, thanks, I guess. Uh. Okay, everyone. I think with that we can officially end today's meeting on a good note. Everyone, remember tonight's assignment. Write a poem to bring to the next meeting so we can all share. Monica looks over at me once more. J 
Jack. I look forward to seeing how you express yourself. <laughs> yeah. <gasps> I, I can't be... <laughs> Can I really impress the class of my car with my mediocre writing skills? I already feel the anxiety welling up inside me. Meanwhile, the girls continue to chit-chat as Yuri and Natsuki clean up their food. Hey Jack, since we're already here, do you want to walk home together? That's right. Sarah and I never walk home together anymore because she's always stayed after school for clubs. Sure, might as well. <laughs> Yay! With that, the two of us depart the classroom and make our way home. The whole way, my mind wanders back and forth between the four girls. Sayori. Natsuki. Yuri. And of course, Monica. Why Davis? Definitely not like the others around here. <laughs> Will I really be happy spending every day after school in a literature club? Hmm. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps I'll have the chance to grow closer to one of these girls. Alright. I just need to make the most of my circumstances and I'm sure good fortune will find. And I guess that starts with writing a poem tonight. Oh! Who do I want to go for? Sayori! Cute. She's been a friend though. And that... It can't grow from there. Uh, Natsuki. Nah. She is... Probably... Not my favourite. Because she's just like... She's a bit rude. She is into anime. Like, like her character, but Yuri, Yuri, we're going Yuri. <sighs> okay, disorientated. Um, imagine it, massacre, massacre, extraordinary. Okay! Miss Fu- Really? Sayori? Philosophy. That's a Yuri word. Unstable. There we go. Eternity. Dark. I'm restrained. Precious. Nature. Amazing. Warm. Hope. Fluffy. Love. Frightening. Mm -hmm. Vibrant. Graveyard. Graveyard. Happiness, explode, intellectual, mm -hmm. scars, whirlwind, hopeless, universe, aura, there we go, adventure, summer, kiss, contamination, lazy, infinite, portrait, dazzle, shopping, contamination, vivid, rain cloud, giggle, pop, passion, horror, that's that's it. Lust, together, ocean, nightgown, meager, music, chocolate, hmm, bed, oof, this one's a hard one. Ah, good. Natsuki one, that's not that bad. 
I'm required. Nah. Friends, whistle, dokey dokey. Promise, wonderful, cage, inside, fireworks, pink, rare, inside. Vitality, rose, heart, socks, cheeks, breathe. Breathe, twelve, hurt. Sayori! You, you go for the word hurt. Child with question, lipstick, family, skirt, nibble, poop. Sensation. Sensation? There we go. Marshmallow. Pure. Alone. Kawaii. Feather. Shiny. Color. There we go. We got that one. Well, I'm gonna leave the episode here. Now. Go poem for Yuri. Links to my YouTube page and my Twitter page will be down below, along with a link to Amino. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video comes out. And leave a like if you love visual novel games that break the fourth wall. Very, very uh, exact genre though. Seems to keep coming across. <laughs> Mad Scientist, out.